Hello, it's Richard Wilson, and today I want to talk to you about the importance of capital raising focus. Uh, I'm here in the Grand Cayman Islands, and it's interesting, um, this set of islands, and specifically this uh, one island, has become very popular in the investment and insurance and hedge fund industries for legal structures and places to do banking business. And the island is really focused on being specialized in that niche. They're constantly competing against Bermuda to attract more business here, and they're constantly listening to the needs of fund managers who want to put their money here in the Cayman Islands or work with the Cayman Islands in some way. And my point of bringing that up is I think it's a relevant example of what more of us need to do in raising capital. Um, I myself have been raising capital for a long time, and what I've found is that I raise the most capital per month or per quarter when I'm the most focused. And there's a few reasons uh, for that happening. One is that you get more attuned to that set of investors' needs. Two, you can listen more carefully to those investors and follow up with them more often, take more notes, think strategically about how to add value to their situation more often. And if you're trying to reach out to 50 or 100 new investors every day and just kind of shotgun approach to the whole marketplace, you're not going to raise much capital at all. So you're going to sound like a salesman, you're going to rush through things, not follow up with people, not meet in person as much as you should, etc. There's a few things I've learned about capital raising focus just recently. Um, one is kind of uh, a fundamental of the whole idea is just the 80-20 rule. Um, and basically that is that 80% of your results are going to come from 20% of your investors. And sometimes I even say that it's an 80-24 rule in that uh, if you take 80% of the results you'd get from that 20% of your investor base, you know, you're left with just the last 4% is where you're going to get most of the value of your investor base. In other words, 20% of 20% is just 4%. And so that top 4% of your investor base is where you should be spending the most of your time. The top 20% of your investor base is the only place where you should be spending your time. And you should be almost ignoring the other 80%. In our business, the way we, we raise capital is we really only work with people that first reach out to us that we meet at conferences, like the one I just spoke at here in the Grand Cayman Islands, or that we have some connection or relationship with. And we really only look at the top 4% and the top 20% of investors within the niches that we focus on. By doing this, we're not speaking with the people who could only invest a very tiny amount of money, we're not speaking with the people who probably aren't interested or are hard to meet with geographically, etc. A few other suggestions on focusing on the right types of investors. Make sure that geographically you have a focus so that you can uh, have some synergy in the face-to-face -face meetings you set up. If you have one meeting in London and your next meeting is in Australia and your next meeting is in Boston, you're going to have a long travel schedule and the amount of meetings you get in per day is going to be very low and you will not be very efficient at raising capital. Uh, your team needs to be geographically focused to some degree, even if you have one or two executives that are heads of global distribution or global capital raising. Uh, another story I'd like to bring up is one individual who has been kind of a mentor to me in the past has actually raised uh, about $500 million to $700 million per year. Uh, he's raised several billion dollars, somewhere around $10 billion to my estimates. And um, he's someone I meet with, try to meet with every month, and he told me that he really focuses only on their top 50 or 100 investors, and his team will reach out to more than that, but really he focuses his time on the very top 50 investors that could put in the most money into his fund. And the one last story I wanted to leave you with is that person that raises 500 to 700 million a year, they're actually looking up to another capital raiser who raises 1 billion to 1.5 billion dollars every single year with a very small team. And he's able to do this because he said that 60% of all the capital he raises comes from only 20 investors. In other words, out of say 1.3 billion dollars a year, 600 million, 700 million dollars of that comes from a set of only 20 investors. Obviously, these are very high end investors that can put in 50 to 100 million or 150 million at a time. So that might not be possible for where you're at right now. But the point is, this person who is an expert among experts and raising a lot of capital is doing it by being ultra focused, not by being ultra diversified. So I think that's really interesting. And um, I think that most of us could use another level of focus within our capital raising efforts. This is Richard Wilson, coming from the Cayman Islands. Thanks for joining me.